Psalm 12, we're going there. Uh, Essie, Essie, Esther, Esther, say bubbles. Take that thing out of your mouth. Bubbles. Can you say bubbles? Say uh, boo boo. Say mama. Say dada. Now, if the two were clowning around uh, next there, see, then Corey would have said bubbles and boo boo and so on. Those are big things, and we're, we're going to talk about a big thing today. I really do believe that. Father, bless her sermon. Help us to be better Christians. Help us to uh, have a good testimony. And help us, Lord, to uh, use this sermon daily now. In Christ's name, amen. If something were really simple, don't you think we ought to use it? Something that's really, really simple. Uh, the other day I saw, it was the turn of the century, depicting, or, well, whatever. Ever see that top and they take a, uh, a string and they, with two uh, sticks and they spin it mm -hmm. and they catch it? Anybody know what that's called? No, 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 no. I, I, that is cool, but that's not what I'm in reference to. It's loose. It's. It, it, is there? Those I don't know. Metal things? No, there's a uh, there's a string. And there's two sticks, and there's like a spool in the middle, like the, like two tops connected, and they spin this thing and they throw it up in the air and catch it. You would back in the black and white days, you might see it on Ed Sullivan or something. I think somebody knew it. I would assume there's a lot of skill to do that. Yeah. I don't think it's. Uh, it's, it's not a gimme. Man, I saw a kid doing it the other day. It seems like it'd be like turn of the century, 1890s, 1870s, 1910, something that they would do back then. Now, if something was simple, something really, really simple. Um, I don't know if playing a Jew harp is simple. Uh, jugging, I don't know how simple jugging is. I was at a store, I want a jug, so... I was jugging all these jugs to see if I get one to really too, you know, like a Pepsi bottle, you know, so that kids could, uh, I think playing a tambourine is simple, just start banging on it, you know, or a drum to keep beat, and to help kids with simple things. Our, our, our sermon is Psalm chapter 12. This is really simple. Now, simply just don't fall asleep on me. We don't want to do that. We want you to uh, leave this building practicing this. I want you to practice this on a daily basis and begin today. It is the first two words in Psalm chapter 12, verse 1. Help, Lord. Now, I, I, I pray, it is a prayer. I pray that all the time just to get out of bed, man. Uh, you know, it's like every bone in my body aches sometimes. Now, I'm not complaining. It's uh, sometimes it feels that way, and then then the next day I feel okay. You know, it, it comes and goes. I mean, we get older. My neighbor's starting to drive down to the mailbox now with his car instead of hooking it. So uh, he is uh, not quite ten years older than I am. But uh, Starla said, "Oh, he drove down to avoid the rain today." I don't know about that. I've seen him driving down there, so they're getting older. Help, Lord. We need help. Every day, folks. Father, bless our sermon. Please bless it. May it just really help us today. All for the sake of Jesus now, Father, that you would edify the saints, glorify our Lord now. In Christ's name, amen. Help, Lord, help! I think we all need this. It's a short and a very seasonable prayer. You pray this if you were sailing and the waters are too shallow to sail. You pray, help, Lord. Or when time is too short to waste. Help, Lord. When the target is too small to hit. Help, Lord. 
is all one needs to send to heaven. I mean, we could pray that all day long. Help, Lord. I, I'd like you to get in the habit of doing that, even if you whisper it. Help, Lord. It is all one needs to send to heaven. He who hears all, hears this. He who hears all, hears this. When spoken by the lips of his children, help, Lord. Why? For our God shall supply all our need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. He wants to hear from us. Help, Lord. Help, Lord, in working. To be able to work for the day. Help, Lord, in understanding. Help, Lord, to get us through suffering. Help, Lord, in our everyday living. In our everyday living. And help, Lord, in dying. To be able to die. Help, Lord, appropriate for all occasions. Amen. Tis a big event for a parent. Now, I had asked, uh, I asked Esther if she would say a word. Now, uh, Ella doesn't say any words yet, does she? What does she say? Hi is a big one. Hi? Oh, she can say hi. Now listen, I bought, I went to, we have friends that are, uh, have a booth down in Ravenna that way by the 76 freeway. They closed up their booth, they brought everything back. I bought, uh, I bought a 1922 book, uh, New York Times, all pictures, huge book. And uh, boy, they cut us deals because they're friends of ours. They cut us these two books, I forget what it's called. I was thumbing through it this morning, uh, my dear one, and there it was, a little boat with a boy and a girl in it, and the boat's name was, was Ella. <laughs> and there it was, and I thought, I thought of her. So she says hi. It's a big event, it's a big event for a parent when baby says his first word. That's a big deal. It is just as big an event for a parent when a child says his first sentence. You know, when they can put two words together. That's a big deal for a child. That is saying two words together. Help, Lord. That's a big deal. Help, Lord, coming from the lips of a child of God is like God receiving a kiss from the one he loves. Now when a baby begins to kiss, or they say, give me a kiss, I, I know what ours would do. They would open their mouth, you know, like that. It, would, it wasn't, a, they wouldn't pucker. Now, now Esther does pucker up. I don't know what Ella does, but she puckers up. But generally, they would open their mouth and, you know, they, they don't know, it. you know, they're, they're just learning. But help, Lord, coming from the lips of a child of God, it's like God receiving a kiss from the one that he loves. A kiss from the lips, like, like help, Lord, is from the lips. Like help, Lord, is from the lips. Help, Lord, is short. It is sweet. I hope when you say it, it is sincere. I mean, you don't have to invent these things. You're not praying in front of people. You're praying to, to the Lord. <coughs> it is short. It is sweet. It is sincere. And it is words that our Lord cannot resist. No better word spoken when a repentant sinner begins his journey here on earth. When he begins his journey from sinner to saint, when he begins like a newborn baby, saying, help, Lord, when he first gets saved. And no better words when spoken when a saint ends their journey here to begin their life in heaven, help, Lord, when they begin their life in heaven, passing on from this uh, place to the next place to say, help, Lord. Listen, when is baby weakest is when they're first born, are they not? When they're very weak, they can't do anything, so they just say, help, Lord. Listen, when a man is dying, when a man or woman is dying, I mean, they are totally weak. They can't, they can't even probably even lift food to their own mouth. And no better words to speak when dying than to say it at the end, help, Lord. 
It's the best of beginnings when a person is saved. Help, Lord, when, he, when one begins. It is the best for the ending. Help, Lord, when one has ended. When the end has come. Help, Lord, when the weight seems unliftable. I cannot lift this weight. Help, Lord. Help, Lord, when there is none to help. Help, Lord, when time is short. I mean, I put my socks on today. And I told the wife, we had to put my mother's socks on. We, I mean, she, and she's 90, 97 years old, 98 years old. We had to put her socks on. And I said to her, I said, man, I can see where I'm going to get to the point, I don't know, five years from now, ten years from now, my dad lived to 76, that someone's got to put my socks on. Help, Lord, when time is short. Help, Lord, when there's none to help. Help, Lord, when trouble is near. Help, Lord, when faith is weak. Help, Lord, when fear knocks on the door. Help, Lord, when the way is slippery. Send thee help from the sanctuary. That is a verse. I mean, we've got 40 verses today. You know, maybe I'll name them off as we go. Send thee help from the sanctuary. The sanctuary that's a long way off, but faith seeth the far off, amen, even into heaven as when Stephen saw Christ standing at the right hand of God ready to defend him. Heaven's sanctuary sent an angel to strengthen our Lord while praying in the garden, amen. Heaven's sanctuary, the true sanctuary which God has pitched and not man. Must we be reminded God is our refuge and strength, a very present what help in trouble? Are we soldiers at arms or are we soldiers of the cross? Amen. Help, Lord. You need help. You need encouragement. Men of the world encourage themselves by the things of the world. But men of the Lord encourage themselves by means of the Lord. David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Amen. Like saying this, help Lord. There is a city of God where God dwells as well as there is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And you think about the sanctuary, it's a far off, oh, man, I can see that, a far off by faith. There is, a, there is the city of God where God dwells as well as there is the temple of the Holy Ghost where God dwells, that is in our hearts by faith, amen. So when you cry out, help, Lord, your cry doesn't have to go very far because he lives in here, amen. You see how near God is? So the call goes out, help, Lord. And God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early. Right early meaning at the break of day. I mean he's not messing around. He'll help now. Help Lord. Yet it seems our Lord delays his coming to our aid. Impatience complains of divine delays. But the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. His timing is ever wise, for he produces the fruit of long suffering. As a faithful husbandman, he grows all of the Spirit, the Spirit's fruit in our lives. Amen. So when it seems as though he's delaying, he's just he's just growing the the, 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 the fruit of, of uh, long suffering. Help, Lord. I'm, I'm going to say that enough so that we have that memorized. Help, Lord. You know, you may never have ever read it. You may make that up. I mean, you make that prayer up yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. And lo and behold, bada boom, bada bing, it's in the Bible. You know? Help, Lord, is he who, as a wise man, builds his house upon a rock, and not as a foolish man which builds his house upon the sand. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. I ask, has he, has he helped? In times past, has our Lord helped you? 
The gratitude of loving lips will acknowledge the worthiness of our divine helper. Thou hast been my help. And God forbid we receive such grace from his hand and not thank him. Thou hast been my help. And as the Lord is ever giving, and that is grace for grace, we should be ever grateful. Thou hast been my help. There is the help, there is the help of his countenance. You know, uh, do your children like an angry look from your face or do they like a smile from your face? What, does, what do your children like? There is, and this is a verse, the help of his countenance. All children seek the approval of their parents and no better help than the smile of God, amen. The smile of God will always help the hearts of his children. The help of his countenance doeth good like a medicine. Did Paul and Silas ask for help? You know, I thought about it. You know, when they, when, when, when they sang praises, did they, did they pray? And at midnight, Paul and Silas, it says they prayed. It doesn't record the prayer. You know what they may have prayed? They prayed... Help, Lord! Help, Lord! Could it have been this prayer? Help, Lord! And then they praise God and, and in song and sang praises unto God. What, and then I asked what followed. The prison walls were shaken and the prisoners' chains were loosed. The help of his countenance makes for a merry heart. Merry enough to sing praises unto God. Help, Lord, acknowledges our weaknesses. Help, Lord, acknowledges our weaknesses and the Lord's strength. For the weakness of God is stronger than men. Amen. Ah, uh, here's another verse. Let thine hand help me. His hand. As the Lord helped Peter when he began to sing. What did he say? Lord, save me! And immediately he reached out and grabbed him right with his hand. Here's the verse. Let thine hand help me. As when our Lord says, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Thou openest thine hand. They are filled with good. In the shadow of his hand he hid me. Man, there's tons of verses about this. The Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. It reaches to the uttermost. That is why one can call upon our Lord's help by means of his hands. Let thine hand help me. Help me. Help, Lord. Help, Lord, is the request. Yet is the request possible? Possible to work. Help, Lord, is the request. Yet is the request possible. Will it possible? Is it possible to work? But with God, all things are possible. Who would think when Jonah was in the sea that he would preach at Nineveh when he cried out for help? Who would think when Nebuchadnezzar had lost his mind he would regain, uh, would reign again in Babylon? Who would think when Joseph was sold by his brethren that his brethren would seek his help? Who would think when Job uh, uh, scraped his sores upon the dunghill and all his was destroyed and killed that he would be richer than he ever was? Who would think when Lazarus died he would be raised from the dead? Who would think when Israel was confronted with the Red Sea before them and the Egyptians behind them that they would have crossed the Red Sea on dry ground to safety. My help, the Bible says, cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. All right, my help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. And since our Lord made heaven and earth, all, all is at his disposal to help us. As angels, as ministering spirits, as were the ravens to feed Elijah, 
as was the barrel of meal and the cruise of oil to sustain the widow woman of Zarephath. Or the smooth stone and the sling to slay the giant Goliath. Or the rod which Moses would raise, amen. Or the skins of animals to clothe Adam and Eve. The word of God for men to receive the faith, for them to believe, he supplies this, amen. <clears throat> Help comes, as it says, I think in 2 uh, Corinthians, or maybe 1 Corinthians chapter 7, from God at the coming of Titus. Help comes. <laughs> by means of prayer, ye also helping together by prayer for us, when we pray for one another, is help from God. Amen. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. And he which made heaven and earth has the wherewithal to help. As our Lord says to Peter, Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my Father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? I ask this, whose name do we cry when crying for help? Help, Lord. For our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. That's a verse, Psalm 124. Our help is in the name of the Lord which made heaven and earth. Our Lord swears by his name, his own name, for he could swear by no greater. For there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Is it the only name? It, and it is the only name. Well, ask yourself, this is the name. The name of the Lord that is being systematically erased worldwide. For it is no longer politically correct in the eyes of men. And didn't they do that 2,000 years ago? They commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus in times past, so why are you shocked now? Help, Lord! That's the name that helps! But we know our help is in the name of the Lord. Must we be reminded who made heaven and earth, both visible and invisible? That is why we cry, help, Lord, for he can help with those things seen and not seen. You ever pretend to sleep? You know, did Jesus ever sleep? You know, you may say, well, he slept in the boat. Right? And he slept on a pillow. Ever pretend to sleep hoping those around you would wake you? Wake you up? Pretend to sleep? I pretend, I lay on the floor, I pretend to sleep. And Esther, as much she goes up to me and she shakes me. Mm -hmm. And then I wake up and she just gets a charge out of that. Yeah. Ever pretend to sleep hoping those around you would wake you? We know that our Lord never slumbers and neither does he sleep, Psalm 121. And yet at times it seems as though he does. In the storm, our Lord was in the hinder part of the ship Asleep on a pillow, the Bible says. Could it be our Lord sleeps with one eye open in hopes you will call upon him for help? Help, Lord! And did they do that? And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Our Lord is asleep, but only in appearance, for his desire is to hear uttered from our lips help Lord he's only pretending because he wants to hear it from your lips help Lord needs do you have needs then pray help Lord for he shall deliver the needy when he crieth no help you have no help say help Lord you're too poor the poor also too poor, say help, Lord. And him that hath no helper, afraid, say help, Lord. 
The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Help, Lord. It doesn't work, says you. You might say, it doesn't work. Ye have not because ye ask not. Ye have not because ye ask not. Help, Lord, when put in practice will be found a truth. Amen. It will be found a truth. Help, Lord, is a prayer of faith. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped, the Bible says. Heart trust is never, ever disappointed. Faith must come before help, but help will never be far behind. Amen. Every day the believer must say with all confidence, I am helped. Ah, I was brought low, and he helped me. And he helped me, said by one who has experienced the help of the Lord, and he helped me. I hope will be one of your daily praises. Today may we seek the one who can truly help. He who administers helps as a gift of the Spirit of God. Amen. Help, Lord. Did I say it enough? Do we have it memorized? What a prayer to say each and every day. It is a short and seasonable prayer. Said when waters are too shallow to sail, when time is too short to waste, when the target is too small to hit. Help, Lord, is all one needs to send to heaven. Now listen, baby's first word is a big event. I remember there was this plant around the corner in a water tower there, and it was as round as it gets. Tammy would be in the back. She would pull that thumb out of her mouth here. We'd go, and she would point and say, ball. It was one of her first words. Folks, that's a big event. Baby's first word is a big event. A baby. A child's first sentence is a big event. Two words said together coming from the lips of a child is like a kiss. Two words and two lips. Two lips, two words. Help, Lord. A serving saint says this when he begins to serve his first words. Help, Lord, when one has begun. And a dying saint, too weak to go on, says, Help, Lord, when one has ended. I hope today the words, Help, Lord, will be on your lips from now to the rapture. Amen. Best regards in Christ. Shake hands. Before communion. Father, bless our communion today. May we seek your forgiveness. Lord, help, Lord. Help, Lord. May we forgive one another here. Help, Lord, forgive us our sins. Help us now, Lord. Receive this communion knowing that you died for us, that you shed your blood for us, that we need you. Help, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Brother, brother, and Joe.
Heavenly Father, thank you for the one you've shown us through Jesus Christ, dying for our sins, and the one that was shed in the light of the end, we might have eternal life. If I have received the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blood that was shed on our behalf. Help us to remember the word of God. In Jesus' name, amen. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, as often as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Amen. Shake hands before leaving.